Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be checking out two of the new champions added to the new Death Ball update. Probably the biggest update today, in my opinion. But let's get straight into it. So first up, you got Naruto, aka Foxuro. He is 12.5k gems. And then you have Gemtoki, aka Gimtoki from the anime. You guys probably know him. But yeah, he has 500 Robux and he has 12.5k gems. In this video, we're just going to be checking them both out. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so let's go ahead and buy Naruto. Boom, there we go. Let's go ahead and buy Gem Toki as well. I'm more excited for him because he's pretty expensive. So I'm assuming he's probably going to be the best champion. So here we go. There we go. We now have him bought. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. Um, I'm going to just start off and verse some people with Naruto's moveset. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Also, one thing I've noticed about Gem Toki is all of his level requirements are zero. So this either means that, you know, this account's new. So I have all the moves. Or since he's 500 Robux, it straight up just gives you all the moves. If that's the case, that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to start with Gem Toki, actually. So yeah, uh, I'll be right back once this round starts so we can check out all the moves. All right, here we go. We're now in the game. So let's use Gem Hunt whenever we get the opportunity to. I actually haven't seen like any of these moves, by the way. So this is going to be like a first reaction. So all right, let's go ahead and use it. Okay, so this does not do anything. But what it does is it gives me fake gems. So, yeah, as you can see, it just spawns gems around. Let me know which, what that does down below. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty confusing, I can't lie. Uh, I don't think it actually does anything to, like, the people you attack. So, uh, let's try out double or nothing next time we get the ball towards us. Actually, let's just use it now. So, we have a coin. So, we got double. All right, so now we have double luck. Maybe that... I'm, I'm actually... This is actually really confusing to me. I cannot lie. But uh, we have 120 fake gems right now. And then cash out. We cash out the gems. Okay, I understand it now. Wait, this moveset's not really like... Wait, so pretty much how this moveset works is, right? It's not too good for, you know, winning. But like, while you're playing the game... Boom, you can see right here. Boom, I activated a gem hunt. I'm going to collect some gems real quick. And then whenever I click the double or nothing... Let's see this. Yeah, so I either get double, like, the amount of gems I collected, or I get nothing. There we go. So once I reach uh, the cash out, I just click cash out. Also, as you can see, the cash out is a one-time use. So, all right, now I get it. Pretty much throughout the game, you get to collect gems and you get to cash out whenever you want. And you can literally keep those gems, which is absolutely insane. Donate ability. Um, I'm assuming you donate to people. So once you collect X amount of uh, gems, you can straight up just donate people gems. A uh, cool ability. I could see why it's 500 uh, Robux, not gonna lie. Because it's not just ability based. It genuinely like gives you gems, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, let's just go ahead and try to win this match. So far, we still got a good amount of people left. But um, we have two lives because I tried using my ability on them. But hey, let's pop another gem hunt. Might as well. It also speeds you up, so not too bad. So it's kind of like while you're playing the game, just, you know, collect these gems. It's just double or nothing. Might as well. Yep, we got double. I've gotten double like almost every time. Guess I just got W luck. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I probably can't cash it out. So yeah, I feel like one cash out per match is pretty much how it is. So yeah, try to get as much gems as possible before you die. And if you're about to die, just cash out. Pretty confusing, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions on the moveset down below, feel free to ask. Probably going to die here soon though because we got one life. All right, these people are trading right now. Here we go. Send it to this guy. There we go. We defeated that guy. I might have just get in some of this action. I can't lie. All right, that guy's using Goku. All right, the ball's coming towards me. All right, so there's four people alive. Yeah, let's go to this side real quick. Oh, that was actually close. I can't lie. Got to keep my eyes on the ball. Coming towards me. Let's hit that. So if you want to donate, like, I could see, like, j if you just want to be nice to people, just straight up just donate to them. That would be pretty cool. All 
All right, this is not ending anytime soon, bro. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to give this to another person. Oh, he faked me out. Ooh, okay. Three more people left. Might as well do double or nothing. Yeah, I like win the, the double or nothing like every time. But not gonna lie, this cash out might come back actually. Like, if it takes like a certain point, I look he might be able to cash out here. That's if I don't die, of course, but let's see what we can do. So yeah, maybe cash out can be used, but like the round has to go on for a very long time in order for that to happen. There we go. We're now in a face off. Let's go. Oh, this guy's getting up up close. We do not want that. We do not have any abilities that can attack. And we won. Hey, GG's. Wait, really cool. Like, if I had cash out there, I literally could have cashed out and got, like, 1k gems, even if I lost. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Gim Toki. Really cool character. It's more unique than others. Um, We're going to move on to Naruto now. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, we have all the abilities for Naruto now, which is Ninja Run, Shadow Clone, Tree Jump, and Fox Armor. This Loki might be like Kurama or something. So, yeah, I'll be back once the round starts. Also, let me know your thoughts on Gim Toki. I think, like, if you're genuinely skilled and you don't need abilities to win, he's definitely the best character in the game. His ability is amazing, too, if you can survive for a long time. So, uh, yeah, let's just check out these moves. So, once this ball gets thrown at us, we're going to go ahead and use our Ninja Run. Let's try to get hit, actually, so... That's going to come towards me, I believe. Yep. Let's do Ninja Run. Okay, so Ninja Run is just a speed up. It does not hit you. Keep that in mind. All right, we're going to use Shadow Clone next. Try to get some action real quick. Here we go. Shadow Clone just leaves a Shadow Clone. I'm pretty sure how it works is like they throw it at the Shadow Clone. Oh, let's let me see this. Hmm, not too sure how that works. Like, look at this. Let me know down below. Oh, I have to click it again. There we go. So now I have two shadow clones. What the hell? That's sick. And then clone pass. Wait, let me... Okay, so you click it and now the clones have spawned in. All right, let's try to get the ball again. Yeah, so I think the clones pretty much just like take the hit for you. Uh, let me know down below what you think that is. But uh, yeah. next up, we have tree jump. You literally just go on top of a tree. W. Next up, we have fox armor. Yo. Wait, this is more different than I expected. It's kind of like nine tails, but it's blue, so... Let me try to get hit real quick. Okay, so it does hit you, but I believe that didn't take a health. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for both of the quick little showcases. I didn't know too much about the abilities, so I'm not bad about the uncoordinated video. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Let me know your thoughts on this Death Ball update. Definitely my favorite. I really like Game Tokyo as a character, of course. And yeah, like I said, hope you guys have a good day, and peace out.